Hey everyone, welcome to a new plastic scanner update video. And my gosh, I haven't said that in a very, very long time. It's been a bit quiet with the plastic scanner updates. Um, it's basically for two reasons. One of which is that I'm occupied as well now with a new job that I'm also taking on. And the second is that there weren't too many exciting updates and I didn't want to make a update out of, out of nothing. Uh, but since there is now a video, it also means that there's updates. And basically we have three exciting updates. Um, the first of which is that the prototype from Kyle, the guy from Australia, has arrived. So here you can see the box it came in. Um, yeah, it is already open. I started playing around with it. I couldn't resist. Um, and I'm gonna see in the coming weeks, in the, in the future, how uh, to set this up and how to uh, yeah, basically get the same results. So it will take uh, quite a bit of time because uh, it's only the PCB. So we still need to make the enclosure, we need to test and we need to make sure that we get the same measurement results as what he put in his machine learning model because otherwise it doesn't work. Um, so that's, that's still in the process and uh, it's going to be well, developed. Um, the second update, which is also very cool, is about the laser cutting environment. Uh, earlier I made a video testing it at the Makerspace and trying out uh, one of the prototypes. And at the Technical University of Delft, they have a similar location doing laser cutting and they want to make sure that they don't laser cut uh, PVC and to uh, prevent that from happening they want to be able to scan it and give it a quick sanity check. So uh, that's what we're now piloting with them. We have a version there and it's being deployed, it's being tested and uh, we're gathering feedback from that. Uh, for us this is quite an essential step to do this before we actually uh, encourage others to replicate it or before we start selling multiple of these units. Um, because probably we will find some small hiccups or some small things that we see don't work as well as we expected or things that they see can be improved. Um, so yeah, there's later going to be a video about the, the pilot project basically at the uh, TU Delft and how that came about and uh, how they use it. So basically each of the individual updates will get its own video. Um, and then lastly, based on this and following up on this, is our application got awarded. And this is an application at the Precious Plastic Open Source Fund. And they want to encourage all different plastic recycling initiatives, uh, especially, yeah, basically hardware development. And we submitted an application where we also want to look at uh, 3D printing plastics. So uh, this can be a very interesting next point for the plastic scanner. If we have the laser cutting environment ready, then to also get a group of new plastics. And 3D printing fits exactly in that. So this means that it can be uh, a group of plastics. So you already sort of know in which area you need to search. And that makes it a lot easier to determine the plastic. Hopefully. It's a research project, so we don't know. Um, and it's often clean plastic and it's in a uh, yeah, makerspace environment often. So you also see a lot of recycling initiatives there. So if we can get to that to work, then that's super nice. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna research the different materials, gather a lot of different uh, filaments, do some test prints with that. And then uh, basically based on that, um, research if it is feasible for the plastic scanner to do 3D printing plastics. So yeah, these are three updates and I'm finally be able to share this and um, yeah, happy to, uh, to announce that uh, these things are moving, these things are developing and I would say stay tuned for more of these updates. So each of the different items will get its own update video and they will show online over time. Um, 
thank you for tuning in. <laughs> thank you for the patience. I didn't, uh, I didn't say that I would uh, have not I didn't say I would not upload a video or an update in a long time. But yeah, that's how life goes. There wasn't much to uh, to share. Um, thank you, and see you around next time.